In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can import a token standard. We're going to be using the Open Zeppelin library, which is the most popular library for an NFT token standard. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. Because instead of building out the token from scratch, we use a standard which can be accepted across different stores and different decentralized platforms and NFT buying centers. So we're going to be importing the ERC721 token library into our project, which is the token standard for an NFT. So here I am inside of my project folder and I am going to get started by installing Open Zeppelin. So I use npm install at open zeppelin slash contracts dash dash save. So we're going to be doing this via Open Zeppelin. We're going to be copying their current version of the ERC721 token standard. You can also copy it from their website. You don't have to do it via NPM. You could just get the class for the token from their website or from GitHub or just get it from the source files of this section right here in this course. Okay, so we have been able to get the Open Zeppelin contracts. We added one package to the project. We have some vulnerabilities left over, which are fine to just leave as they are for now for this prototype. Okay, one more thing we need to help us use the Open Zeppelin library in our project is the Truffle Flattener. And for that, we're going to have to install that library as well with npm install truffle dash flattener dash save and the truffle flattener is going to help us bring that token standard from open zeppelin into our npm project where we'll build our contracts okay now let's create a contracts folder inside of our project because currently i can list out my contents with ls or dir and i can see i do have a contracts folder i can cd into contracts and then list out and i have migrations dot solidity okay into this contracts folder i want to bring in the erc721 so here we are going to grab that from open zeppelin which is now inside of our node modules so let me go back up one parent folder and we can cd into node underscore modules and we can list out all of our node modules included in the project one of them is open zeppelin if you scroll up to the o's you will be able to see open zeppelin let's see where is it okay we should have oh it's at open zeppelin so i'm just going to go up here a little bit higher okay you can see at first we have a bunch of ats and we have at open zeppelin so we want to use that one it won't be actually listed without the at so that is that open zeppelin library that we just installed we can cd into at open zeppelin and list out its contents which are contracts we can cd into contracts and list out those okay so we have access build finance governance interfaces we have meta tx json package proxy security token utils we want to go into token cd token because we want to take the open zeppelin contract for an nft a non-fungible token so i'm going to cd into token and list out the contents and you could just do this all via your file explorer or your finder but i'm doing it via the console so i can see here i have my erc 1155 erc 20 erc 721 and erc 777 we want erc 721 Okay, that is the one that we want to use. That's actually a folder. So we have to CD into ERC721 and list out its contents. This is the token for an NFT. We have ERC721.sol, IERC721.sol, Solidity files. We have IERC721.sol, 
21 receiver to install. We have extensions, presets, and utils. You can see the into extensions, and you can see there's actually a lot of files. So Open Zeppelin has a lot of different templates and extensions for those templates. Okay, great. So we've located where we have our Solidity file. So what we want to do is take the erc721.solidity file and we want to just bring it into our project folder via a flattener. So you could also just do this via manually, just paste, copying and pasting it in. We're going to be using the truffle flattener to do that. Okay, so here I'm going to go back up to my parents I want to go back into my project folder. Okay, great. So I should be inside of my main project folder. Then I'm going to use npx truffle dash flattener. Remember, we just installed the truffle flattener library, which will help us to get everything we need for the ERC721 Solidity file. I'm going to grab the file from my open Zeppelin folder. So I have to go into here dot slash node underscore modules slash at open zeppelin slash contracts slash token slash erc721 slash erc721 dot solidity so we just saw that we had to go all the way there to find the file so that's what we're doing here so what we're doing now is going to copy that file and flatten it meaning taking everything that it depends on and putting it into the file as well and we're going to bring it into our contracts folder so we're bringing it into contracts and we're going to create a new file called erc721.solidity. Hit enter and that is going to allow you to copy that file over. You can see the into contracts and you can list out the contents. You now have erc721.solidity. Okay, now if you go into your code editor, you'll see erc721.solidity is inside of contracts. You can open that up and you can take a look through all of the files here. So we have at the top the license. We have then the Solidity versions. We're using 0.8.0 and greater as the compiler version. Then we have an interface IERC-165. You may be wondering, what is this? This is actually the interface of the ERC-165 standard. And this is likely required for one of the other files that we have, or one of the other interfaces or classes that we have. Okay, then we have... Again, another file here, IERC721, the required interface of an ERC721 compliant contract. Because contracts can rely on interfaces. So you have a bunch of functions here for different functionalities of an NFT, like safe transfer from one address to another address. Next, we have another interface, IERC721 Receiver. This is the ERC721 token receiver interface for any contract that wants to support safe transfers from ERC721 asset contracts. We have another one, interface, IERC721 Metadata. And you can see they rely on other files, like IERC721, which has been brought into this file. Then we have a library address with a bunch of helper functions. We have a contract of context. We have ERC-165, the implementation of an interface. And we have the contract for ERC-721. And you can see it relies on context, ERC-165, IERC-721, and IERC-721 metadata. And those were all brought into this one file. Okay, then we have a bunch of different functions for the standard. Okay, and that is the end. We have different functions inside of ERC721, like supports interface, get the balance, get the owner, get a name, get a symbol, get a token URI, get or approve a transaction, get approved, set approval, and more. So these are all pre-built functions, pre-built structures and templates for building an NFT. And they are approved and standardized so that way you can use them on many different websites and platforms wherever you need to use your NFT. Otherwise your NFT might only be available on one website and then completely break on a different website if you wanted to build your NFT from scratch. So that's why we need a standard. 
Okay, awesome. Now that we actually have a standard, we're going to use that standard and build on it to actually build our own NFT. So this is just the standard, like the blueprint for an airplane. And now we're going to actually build the custom airplane using the blueprint. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.